Hey YouTube, welcome back to the gym vlog. Now, today is kind of a hard one because I did finally miss a day. Now, it's Tuesday right now. The last video I made was for Saturday. So I did go in on Sunday and do my cardio, my basic, you know, just off day cardio. But um, yesterday I have many excuses. I also have many which I think are valid reasons. So what it basically boiled down to was I haven't been sleeping too great. My sleeping schedule has been drifting a lot. So I was just, I was tired to the point of my eyes hurting. Um, I socialized with some of my neighbors last night, like we had them over and we're talking for a bit. And that was right around the time I usually go to the gym. And then immediately afterwards, uh, we went and got food and stuff. So I was feeling really full and really super tired and sleepy. So I just really felt like I didn't have the energy to honestly even drive. Now, at the end of it, those are excuses. I should have gone to the gym. I had the entire rest of the day. I just didn't. But uh, I can partially blame some of that on my sleep schedule being so out of whack. I'm trying to fix it. So today is going to be doing the start of week four of treadmill for my cardio warm up, and then going immediately into weightlifting. Today is gonna to be a B day. And then tomorrow is gonna to be a normal A day because I'm doing catch up, so we're doing treadmill and weights on the same day. I also have to you know, go to the grocery store right after. My like grocery bags are right there, so. I'm kind of not, I'm not in a rush. Like I can get through the whole workout with good time, but I would prefer to get out faster. So if I don't talk to the camera much in between sets today, you know, that's why. So gonna go in, gonna have a good lift for also something else is my calf was hurting a lot yesterday. Um, I might do a squat machine instead of normal squats today. I'm not sure. I'll see how I feel after the run. That's of course gonna affect my legs quite a bit. But today, gonna do same heavy weight on the overhead press. Gonna do good weight on chin-ups and penley rows. I think I'm gonna keep it what it was last week. The run, however, uh, is probably gonna kick my butt a little bit. So yeah, I feel bad that I took a day off, but I'm getting back into it. I'm getting caught up, I'm trying to take the steps to uh, make sure it doesn't happen again. <laughs> Okay, I'm in the bathroom super fast. Just got done with my run, and that was a pretty hard run. So it was 16 total minutes of jogging, whereas last week was nine. So it was quite a jump up in intensity. And as you can see, I am very sweaty. <laughs> so good run, very over the top warm up <laughs> for a warm up but very good run. So my legs are kind of hurting from that. So I'm going to do a squat machine today instead of barbell squat. So I'll see you over there.
right, that was a lift. And tell you what, it is starting to get cold during these night lifts that I keep doing. So uh, snow is kind of around the corner. It's not super close, but within the next three or four weeks, uh, it's starting to get cold. So I might consider start using the gym showers, honestly. Um, usually I just go straight home. But uh, I think that'd be good to warm up a little bit, but uh, I don't know. I've never used one, and uh, a lot of people I talk to don't use them much at all. So, good lift. Actually, very good lift. I was kind of surprised how good that felt. Shoulder press is the same weight I did last time, I think. I'm pretty sure the barbell was a 45 and not a 35. I'm like 90% sure, but uh, yeah, that felt great. A lot less struggle than last week. So, I mean, I didn't do squats, but I did squat machine. Last time I used that leg press, it was, I had it at 245. And that was maybe five months ago. So, went up to 270 today. Could have gone a little heavier, but, you know, that felt good to me. Nah, I don't fully trust leg press machines like that. Um, especially because where I had my feet and I was like pressing against I was doing it with like so much, uh, not so much weight, but enough weight where I like kind of felt not super sturdy. So I'm not going to use that again. Um, I think it's a good rule of thumb for me to use that if I have to do squats back to back. Like I'm going to go in tomorrow and do my A day and get those squats done then. But uh, I don't know, just after that run and uh, since I have to do squats tomorrow, I felt like going a tiny bit easier on my quads. So yeah penley rows um felt okay i think my form was pretty off i might go lighter on those someone's yelling <laughs> uh chin-ups felt good but I don't know, i'm still struggling with those one thing i noticed and you can like almost see it with the lighting is my forearms feel really tight um which is strange because i don't usually notice that on my forearms i usually notice it on my upper arms or on my calves or something but yeah that was good um glad i came in to do the makeup stuff i'm bummed that i missed yesterday really no i have reasons but i don't have good excuses i guess we can say but i came in made up for it lifted heavy things and then tomorrow we're gonna go and lift even more heavy things anyways i have to speed run going grocery shopping now before it closes. So thank you all for watching. Sorry that I didn't do the last two days. Well, I did Sunday. I didn't do yesterday, but sorry that I missed today. I know that's a mistake, but uh, stuff happens sometimes. I made up for it today though. I think that was a really good workout. That run kicked my butt. I'm very much not looking forward to the next one. <laughs> but anyways, subscribe to see more of the gym vlog leave a like, comment down below, anything, I will read it, and I'll try to respond to it.